That Tic Tac case was the first big investigation by OSAP. The world knows about it, not because of ATIP, but because of OSAP. You know, they collected the files, they created the the the, the video they got, uh, they secured it and analyzed it. There's a report in the OSAP files that I have seen uh, that is remarkable in terms of the detail they went into in an analysis of the Tic Tac incident and its capabilities. That was the very first uh, thing that they really launched. And the reason the world knows about it is because of OSAP. Yes, Lou Elizondo interacted with the, the OSAP guys, uh, but it was long before ATIP existed. The first time the ATIP name, that acronym, appeared was in Harry Reid's um, letter to the Pentagon in 2009. And they, they used that name and just made it up because they didn't want the rest of the Pentagon to know what the real name was. So they couldn't come after it. Uh, they got out anyway. But, uh, you know, ATIP, after OSAP went away, Lou Elizondo, to his credit, uh, resurrects it on a much smaller scale. He keeps some of the same people who had interacted with and worked with OSAP different agencies, some of them of whom had been to Skinwalker Ranch, some of whom worked directly on the Tic Tac report. He kept them in the loop, and they informally had this confederacy of of experts who would take a look at new cases of UFOs involving the military. That was their purview. They didn't look at any of these broader things that, that we're talking about. To my knowledge, I don't know that they produced a single report. Have you ever seen one? Uh, I, I have never seen an ATEP written report of any kind, and no one else has either. 